Hi, in this screencast we will see the, some advanced Jasper reports. In my part 1, we discussed about how basic Jasper report integrated into the JSF application. In my blog, I will describe about how we integrate that Jasper reports and, and we also seen that the overview of the Jasper reports, how Jasper reports are works and how we export into the various formats like a PDF, DOC and PPT. In, in this second part, we are going to use some complex objects like a list, pass the list to the Jasper, ob Jasper reports and we use some date and how to use a local variable in Jasper reports and add some sub reports and add some background into the Jasper reports. So here I already created one simple project called demo bean here the very important thing is we I have two entity one is shopping cart shopping cart have first name last name and date of purchase is a date object and I have list of items so date object we need to put in temporal because the uh, incompatibility between the Java util date and Java X SQL date and I have list of items each item have ID item name price and number of units price in float format and number of units is integer data type and I created a persistence so I am using here JPA to retrieve the data from the database and and this is my database now the database is empty so we are going to create the table in runtime so that's why I put that table generation strategy is create I added the hibernate libraries and MySQL JDBC driver in my class path. There is a one new servlet. It's a servlet. It's it's put some sample data into the database. So I just first run the um, this servlet, and this servlet is executed. Once servlet is executed, go and check the um, database. And now database is there. Some fields are added. So when see the shopping cart, there is a two entries are added and items also added. There is a third table, they maintain the relationship between the shopping cart and items. Okay, now we are going to create the reports. So in web pages, I create one folder called reports. Then I am going to create the report. So go to the others. Report. I actually installed iReport, iReport NetBean plugin. So in NetBean itself, I can create the report. Otherwise, you can use the iReport standalone version. You can create the report. So I create one empty report, and I call it the report. Finish. Okay, now design is opened. Now I'm going to design the report. So first, I put small static text. Is a title. And I type shopping cart report. And I increase the font size. And bold. And you can change the color, everything. Now I just put it in middle center and open the report inspector here I don't want to the page header and column header just so I just remove it this field we're going to create some fields that fields name should be matched with the bean name bean property name so here first is first name there no need ID so first we talk about it. so we create one field first name and here in properties it's a string first name is string so no need to change anything same thing is last name create the field last name is also string so no need to change anything now next is data purchase top but top is date so go to the properties and change to 
date java util date then next one is list of items so copy create the field list of items this property is list so go to the properties and change it to list java util list now we created everything now we just drag it out one by one so first name just align it last name dob now i put only three i am going to put list of items later we added later now compile the report so click right click the um, report and compile when you see the i report output our um, report is compiled now go to the our projects and now we go into the demo bin the demo bin is a backing bin of the jsf page here i am add the code this code is based on the my first part of the jasper reports and it's a very simple now i create the own entity manager and i can create the own query select s from shopping cart then i create the i got list of shopping carts then that carts you can't pass directly into the jasper reports so we need to convert into jr bean collection data source so i just wrapped the with jr bean collection data source then i get the path i am getting the relative path from my context then using the jasper fill manager i am filling the report so i need to pass the jasper jasper file and my bean collection data source and using the normal http servlet get the response i need to generate the pdf in stream so finally i am export on the stream with the servlet output stream once exported that file comes to client and displayed so if go to the index.html i need to create one button so first create the form form man button action just mention the pdf method so use expression language demo b dot pdf value just mention the generate the pdf generate the jasper report and close the tag save the project and run the index tag html now click the generate button now they put the data from the database and generate the report so when you click the report yeah we'll see the very simple report now first name last name is printed top everything is printed but is misaligned that's only issue so go to the report report dot jrxml now i'm going to change it okay i'm going to change it i don't want to first name and last name i want to only single name with combined both first name and last name so i just changed as a name and i don't want the last name and i don't want to last name separately so here we can in go to the report inspector and select the report name actually the jasper report we can create in three languages so we need to change the language to java i already set java is usually in groovy we need to set in java because once in set in java while compile we can write the java code inside directly in the jasper reports so now select the first name i i don't want to simply first name i want to first name and space last name so select the first name and go to the text field expression and click that one here you can write the java code directly so usually we can write like this plus symbol small space and we going to put the this is the expression of the first name you can get the fields everything here so and i need last name when you double click the last name it's generated like this so first name 
one space and last name so click save and save the report compile the report once compiled go to the project and run the file now click the generate just report this time i am get the name and first name and last name is combined together in single places so now this is a very good now the dob date of purchasing i don't want to this kind of format i want to change the format so go to the jasper report and put date of purchase and put it near to the name and dob dob now it's printed printed the date and time i don't want time only the date so you can use the date so select the dop and comes to the text field expression now using the java you can put the java there is a date simple date format classes available you can put the class here so new simple date format here you can give the pattern here pattern is mm dd and yyy then dot format here you can pass the dop so just double click the dop just put inside and double click the do double click the dop it comes in this area now click save now increase our thing now compile the report report compiled now run the project now generate the jasper report now jasper report is generated now you can get it in what we expected format we removed and we'll bring it in 06 everything in perfect format okay next we are going to integrate the um, sub reports so go and take the palette if its palette is not available go to the windows and take the palette in palette take the sub report and paste here and we going to create the sub report and i am going to actually create in blank and the empty data source we we can change it later and next and give the name of the sub report so i'm i'm giving the name is sub sub report then click next and finish okay now sub report another jr xml is created called sub report dot jr xml and now take the sub report jr xml go to the report inspector we going to create some fields that field should match with the item class so item take the item we'll pass one by one we create the field one by one so item name it's a string it's by default a string so no need to change anything next take the price 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 is a float so go and change to float so java lang dot float next is number of units is a integer so create the new field number of units come and change to integer it is very important to put the perfect data types otherwise class cast exception is throwing so i saved okay now here i don't want to in my sub reports i don't want to title page header column header and the footer everything no need so i just delete it now i need detail so i need the column header is needed in column header i'm going to put some string so take the palette i'm bring it one by one into the detail pane item name so just align it
purchase price and number of units so I just name is changed item name price number of units and select the change of font if you want bold it now I want to put one horizontal bar so take line and place it in header now increase the length in now reduce um, the detail paint size and save it now go to the project and go to the main report report.jrxml now we will align it the sub reports now we are passing while creating the sub reports we are passing the empty data source now we need to pass the I, we already have a list of items so I need to pass a list of items to the items into the these sub reports so select the sub reports and take the properties select sub reports come down there is one place connection type we are using the connection is data source we are not using the normal connection we are passed as a data source so select the data source and in data source expression select it here I need to pass that's a list like this but you can't pass a list directly so we need to type cast to JR bin data collection so we need to pass as a JR bin collection data source so take the full path of that one and go there and now I need to data source data source expression is new JR bin collection data source of list of items it's like this you need to pass and click ok now I am passing now I am passing the list of items to the sub reports now sub reports take the one by one items is printed in that order so now save everything come to the main report now we compile the main report while comp when you compile the main report automatically sub reports also compiled when you see here main report is compiled now sub report is compiling okay report is compiled now come and run the project index HTML. now generate the jasper report we got the one exception the problem is groovy so comes to the sub reports to select the report inspector report and select the report here I told you the language is three languages available Groovy, Java and JavaScript when you put Groovy you need to put some jar files in your class path so we are using Java here so just select the Java here then save it then again compile it the, this report once compiled then run the project again Okay, now generate it now PDF is generated that's it now we create the items now item names, titles, hammam soaps I put the everything now I am going to create it um, now we the, this is an individual price this is number of units now we need to calculate the total price of the particular item so we can do with in Java also otherwise in Jasper reports some local variables are available so we are using that, that local variables how to create we will look at that one next so come to here in the sub report in sub report there is a variables so we are going to create some variables so instead of using fields now you are using the variables so create the variable so give the some name name is row total so we create the row total 
and this is a float data types and this is the integer data types so our row total as a float so come and change to here the variable class is float and the second one thing calculation calculation we are not doing any there's lots of calculations are available like a sum average highest so we don't want to any calculation for this scenario and we don't want to any reset types also so put the reset types also none and finally the variable expression here we need to multiply these two fields so select that one first select the price and put the expression we just put the multiply operation and number of units it's like a java expression then select ok and initial value you can put initial value like a 0.0, .0 is a floating point so put f otherwise they complain about the double 0.0, .0 means double so we need to put f means it's a floating point operation that's it now bring it into the our jasper reports total now bring it on to static text Font it is a font. Now compile this report. Report compiled. Now run the project. Now generate the Jasper report. Yes. Now we generate the total. Total about 18 into 5 into 90, 32 into 7 into 224. This total is generated. I want to now grand total. Grand total mean now this grand total. We are going to sum of all this total. So we are going to create another one variable. So go to the report inspector. In, this is a sub report. So we are going to create one more variable. That variable name is grand total. Now we need to change here. Grand total is again is a float. So come and change to float and now calculation is sum we are going to make it sum of this row total so make it sum and come down and here the value expression here value expression we are going to make it a variable so go to the variable of row total so what is the meaning is they are going to make sum of row total so how many row total is there they make it sum and initial value if you want to put 0, 0.0 Okay, it's once variable is created, drag it and put it into the page footer. Sorry, column footer. Don't put it into the detail pane. Detail pane meaning is repeated. So put it in downside and put one static text. Grand total. And put the font. And if you want to put one line. So use the um, one line in that column footer and it's like this. Now save the report, compile the report and the project. Now gender the just report. Now we got like this. So we got the grand total also. Now the issue is both project. We have the two entries in the shopping carts. One is Ramki, one is Sandeep. Both are generated, but both are generated in the same page. If we want to generate the different page, then go to the main report. There is a one more is option is break. So bring the break in after the sub reports. And they are asking the column break or page break. Put the page break and save the project and compile the main project compile now run the project now generated now we got it perfect now the second page contain the another project okay next we'll talk about the adding some background adding some backgrounds so comes to the main report 
and Jasper from Social Report Inspector. There is a one more is background. So select the background and maximize the background. Now downside one background bar is created. Now we can put whatever the background we needed. So we bring on image. So image component, drag the image component here. Put this. Now we are going to scale the image. Put fill frame. Okay. Now frame image is filled. Now save the project and now run the project. First compile compile the project and run the project. This time we created the background one image and we created. Now you can decorate the color everything. Now this project have one small problem. Problem is now I added the image and I added the Jasper report, sub reports. Both are with some um, is absolute path is mentioned in the XML. So go to the XML first to select the main report. Go to the XML and here when you see the sub report tag here sub report tag here they mentioned that one parameter sub report directory and when you go to the designer and report inspector and check the parameter sub report directory here in properties they mentioned that my complete absolute path name i don't want to absolute path name so what we do go to the xml find out the images here here added again absolute path we are going to change it to normal relative path and here I am mentioning report slash no need report slash just uh, mention that is simply the chance reports and remove the, the one parameter report directory remove that also then what happened is um, find it to the relative path same thing is an image in image tag remove everything just to mention the image name actually they before they put it as absolute path remove the path we will make it a um, relative path so the, our deployment will make it so very simple so once everything is done now compile the report and run the project now click generate report is generated now we get it everything now we can change the font color graphics whatever things we can make it and make it the report is beautiful and thank you if you have any suggestion everything put in the comment on the video thank you